Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to convert y and n to 1 and 0 using SSIS expressions. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to convert y and n to 1 and 0. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Tejas and the question was that in source we having the data as y and n and in target we need 1 and 0. So what ETL process we have to do and how to do that. So I thought to make a video on that one so that maybe it can be helpful for some other people as well. So let's jump to the demo. I got a DNC data file with me, DNC data.csv which is situated in the D files location and if I open this particular file, so it contains two columns, ID column and the DNC column. So in the ID column we have the integer values which starts from 1 and goes up to 1000 because there are 1000 records in this particular file and the second column is DNC which contains the DNC do not call values like N or Y. Okay, So there are two possible values here in this particular column either N or Y. So I want to load this particular data into a SQL server table DNC flag it contains two columns id which is integer so it can be directly imported another column is active which is bit so it can contains two possible values either 1 or 0 okay so i want to insert the value y as 1 and i want to insert the value n as 0 into this particular table so right now this particular table dnc flag this is empty and when i will execute the ssis package then data should be loaded from the CSV file into this particular SQL table and there should be some transformation which will convert the Y and N to 1 and 0 respectively. So let me just close this particular file for now and then let me open the SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package. There are few methods to perform the thing that we wanted. So here I will discuss three methods. The first method will be that I will use the script task to convert the values Y and N to 1 and 0 respectively. The second method will be that I will use a replace function in the derived column transformation to convert the values y and n to 1 and 0. And the third method will be that I will use the if else condition in the derived column transformation using SSS expressions. So I will explain all three methods with you. So let me just go ahead and do the first method using the script component. So let me just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and maybe I can just rename this as method1 method1 and then we will use the flat file source to read the data from the flat file so I can just drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task and I can configure it so let me make a connection to the CSV file I will call this connection as flat file and then I will browse the files so the type of the file is CSV so I will select the CSV files this is the file dnc data.csv I will click on open and if you click on preview so data looks good here click ok ok and now because I want to transform the data so I will be using the script component here now in the script component there are three things source destination or transformation so we will be using the transformation because we will be transforming the data here and then we can connect the flat file source with the script component right click and click on the edit on the script component and then we need to click on the input columns right now there are two columns those can be accessed inside the script component so we will be modifying the values into the dnc column so i can just click on dnc and from the users type we will select read write because we will be overwriting the values in the dnc column now we need to click on script the default script language is Microsoft Visual C Sharp and we can use the Visual Basic as well but I am more comfortable with Visual C Sharp so I will leave this as it is and then I can click on edit script. So this will open the script editor for us where we can write our C Sharp code. So the script editor window has been opened up and you can see that there is an option input 0 process input row. So here we need to write our code. Okay. So what I will do here. I will declare an active variable of int type and the default value I will give it to 0. Now I need to write two if conditions. The first if, if condition will be like if row.dnc using the row dot we can actually access the columns those are available in the data flow. 
so if rho dot dnc equal to y then what we want to do we want to assign the value 1 to the active variable so we declared an active variable so if the rho dot dnc will be y then we want to assign the active flag as 1 okay the another condition is else if rho dot dnc equal to n then what we want to do then we want to assign the active flag as 0 all right this is what we wanted so this is just couple of lines of code and I will share all the code with you I can share this code with you so that maybe you can use it in your SSS package now we have done the assignment it's pretty straightforward that if the road or DNC is Y then active flag will be 1 and if road or DNC is N then active flag will be 0 now we can overwrite the value in the road or DNC column from the active flag that we declared here so we declared an active integer variable here so it is saying that cannot implicitly convert type into a string so we can just do a type cast here to a string because the dnc column is a string types so that's why we had to do the type cast so this is fine i can just click on exit click ok so this conversion has been done and now i can just simply write this data into the sql server table so i can use the oledb destination and i can connect the script component with the oledb destination make a new connection here so this is the SSIS database that contains the DNC flag table I will select the DNC flag table from here and on the mappings I can make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns active column is yet not mapped so I can select the DNC column from here click OK so this particular code is done I can execute the SSIS package and this should load the data from the CSV file into the SQL server table and the values y and n should be converted to 1 and 0 respectively so if I execute the data now so you can see that the values y and n has been converted to 0 and 1 so if you check the file dnc data maybe I can open it notepad plus plus so the id 1 is n and 2 is y so it should be 0 and 1 so this is correct actually so uh, we are done with first method and now let me write the second method let me copy this particular task paste it here the second method will be that we will be replacing the values y and n so I can just change it to method 2 and then I can just delete the last two tasks and then I can use the derived column here and in the derived column what I can do I can select the DNC flag here so the DNC flag will, value will be overwritten here and I can use the replace function so in the replace function I can just drag and drop the DNC column here what I want to do I want to replace the value y with 1 okay and then I want to again replace the value n I want to replace the value n with value 0 so that's the only function that I'm using here replace dnc y with one okay I missed one double quote here I will share this particular code with you so maybe if you want to use it in your package then you can use it so that's the only thing that I'm just replacing y with one and then I'm replacing n with zero I can click ok and now I can insert the data into the same SQL server table but I will just drop and recreate that table so that data should not be duplicated I can select the DNC flag here and then I can select the DNC column here click OK let me just close this one and then I can just drop and recreate this table so if you see now there is no data in the DNC flag table and let me just execute the second task method 2 okay so again 1000 records have been imported from flat file to SQL server table and if you check the data now so now data again got loaded into the same table and the same value 0 for id 1 and for 2 1 got loaded so this seems good here now let me show you the method 3 so I can just copy this method 2 and I can paste it here and I will call it as method 3 
so in the method 3 we will be using the if else condition okay so I can just maybe I can just right click and modify the derived column here and in the expression I can just replace this one I will write like if DNC equal to Y then what we want to do then we want to convert the Y with 1 in the OR condition we can either directly put 0 here so now what this will do if the DNC value will be Y then it will convert into 1 otherwise it will convert into 0 okay but there can be other possible values as well so instead of in the OR condition instead of hard coding the value 0 what we can do we can actually do a check again that in the OR condition if the DNC flag equal to N then we will convert it to 0 okay otherwise we can maybe give some other value like maybe I can give the 0 as well so now what we are doing here that that if DNC flag will be equal to Y then it will be converted to 1 otherwise in the OR condition if DNC will equal to N then it will be converted to 0 otherwise if there is some other third value as well then it will be converted to 0 as well because there can be only two possible values 1 or 0 so that's why I have given the 0 here so this is the third possible method that we can use here so I can click OK and OLEDB destination will be same same table will be used and I can just recreate the DNC flag table so right now the DNC flag table is empty and now let me just execute the method 3 as well so this should import the data from CSV file to the same SQL server table again and now let me fetch the data from DNC flag table so you can see that the data got loaded successfully again and for ID 1 the active flag is 0 and for ID 2 the active flag is 1 so this is same according to the CSV file so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much